what's prettier than a seasonal centerpiece like this gracing your table? I love the color combination for autumn and uh, there's mums and roses, hydrangea, rose hips. You can still find these outside if you have a garden and cotinus leaves are still on the branch. Um, the roses and mums are from Martha Stewart for 1-800-Flowers.com and they're very fresh. They come uh, loose like this and uh, in beautiful shades. And I, uh, I'm going to make a bowl similar to this and show you how easy it is. Um, this is floral tape and you can make your own flower frog, really a support for the flowers by just drawing um, a grid across the top of any bowl um, and then putting a tape all around the outside. So you have a very neat grid that will stay nicely. I fill the bowl with water, um, pretty much, almost to the top, not quite, because you want to be able to move it from here to someplace else. And I'm working on a little turntable. This is a very useful thing to have when you're making a flower arrangement. And they're very inexpensive. You can just find one of these. Add some flower food to the water. That's just um, something that will um, prolong the life of the flowers. And especially um, when you're using something like mums um, or any of the uh, leaves, uh, add a little bit, just a few drops of liquid bleach, like Clorox, to the water. That keeps the water from getting sticky and the stems from getting gooey. And then just start enjoying yourself with uh, uh, clipping your flowers to a length. This, these will stay upright and you just start building your arrangement. It's so pretty. And using the leaves, the color, depends on uh, how big your bowl is. This is a big bowl, so it will take a lot of flowers. But a smaller bowl, of course, and a more upright bowl will take fewer. And you can just keep building and building. And uh, it's just, it's a lot of fun. I like these big full-blown roses and they only get more beautiful. If you, if you make your flower arrangement on say Tuesday for Thursday, these will be utterly open and full-blown and gorgeous for your table. And if you have a long table, make two. Uh, one on each end of the table would be pretty. I love the deep red. And then these autumnal kind of rusty color roses are pretty. Uh, to any low, low leaves, just take them off and you just keep building and building. And uh, one rule of thumb, and I'm sure that um, Mr. Manners, Mr. Wiggins would tell us this too, is to keep the centerpieces kind of low because you don't want to talk over a giant um, bowl of flowers. You want to keep it so you can actually see the guests on the other side of the table. Uh, and that's just a polite thing and uh, I, nothing's, it's so sad when you go to a party and they have such a big, beautiful centerpiece that they spent hundreds of dollars on and then they put it on the floor so everybody can talk to one another. That is not a great idea. Uh, it's a total waste of a centerpiece. But this, see, you see, you can make one that big or you can make one uh, actually much smaller as I'm doing with just, uh, oh, I love how this looks. So gorgeous. And uh, you can uh, add the, um, Autumnal leaves like pear, there's pear here, there's oak leaves, and there's, uh, here's some pear leaves. Look how pretty those are, a beautiful color. I like that a lot. And keep the water fresh. Uh, if you make this on, say, Tuesday for Thursday, you could pour the water out on Thursday, refresh it, add some, add some fresh cold water uh, to, again, prolong your arrangement for even a few more days. And it's not just for that dinner that you're, you're creating an arrangement. You're really creating it for um, probably the whole weekend. And keep it away from heat. Don't, don't be putting these right near a really hot spot or in front of a fire. Uh, won't, won't help the arrangement whatsoever. Keep it uh, in a cooler place. And look how pretty this looks with a little bit of the rose hips stuck in.